Hey everybody, this is Sasha with Everyday She's Sparkling. I just wanted to pop on. I just finished the Instagram with Tailwind webinar and I wanted to recap just exactly how easy it is to share your post to Instagram using the Tailwind app. This is so, so easy. So you do have to do a little bit of configuring at first, but then after that, posts go like no problem. It's easy breezy. So you'll want to go to your Tailwind dashboard and um, you're going to see over in the left hand corner there is your Pinterest account here. Now I've already got my Instagram account set up but if you don't you just go ahead and click on new account. I'm going to show you what that looks like here. And then you're going to go ahead and add your new Instagram account. It's going to ask you for of course your username and your password. And then you're all set up there. As soon as you're done that, um, we're going to come back just to publisher here. Um, you're going to see a big red banner across the top. And that banner is actually going to say to you that you need to connect your Instagram account with your Facebook account. And that's so that you can take advantage of the new auto scheduler. So you go ahead and you click that and it'll walk you through um, signing up through your Facebook. So you're going to have to put in your Facebook Facebook password. Once that's finished, you're all set up and ready to go. And you can go ahead and start loading up your posts for Instagram. So when it's done, you'll come back here. And again, you're going to see um, your Instagram account on the left hand side here. Now you can see I'm in my free trial. Um, you do get 31 free pins with your free trial. So it's enough to last you for one pin for a month, which is really nice to see how great it's gonna be for you. Um, and then you have two options here of adding your images. You can either upload your images from here by clicking, um, and you can go ahead and, let's just see here. So if you were going to add this picture, you could go ahead and add it. And it just loads. Another way that you can add a picture to your queue is simply by dragging and dropping that picture straight to your desktop here. So I'm going to show you two here, but I'm actually going to show you a different way as well. So you see here it's got two drafts to schedule. And you see that the cropping tool here the picture itself that I've loaded is actually a little bit too big uh, for Instagram. And so it's got a smart cropping tool. And if you click on the crop post, you can actually move it around and edit it the way that you want to edit it. So that's one way of doing it. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to delete these two because I'm going to show you another way that you can upload your pictures. When you do the upload this way, you have to enter in all the information as if you've never started. So if you're actually here and if you've downloaded the Chrome Tailwind app, so I'm in my blog post here, and you can um, go ahead and click the Tailwind Publisher app. And that's going to bring up all of the pictures of the posts that uh, from that exact post. So you're going to see this is actually one of those pictures. So I can go ahead and click on that. And on the bottom here, there's a button that says Go Schedule. It's just out of the reach there. And so when I click that one, the best part is it brings along all of the alt description information that I've already included with this pin. So that's really nice. And again, you can see that um, the cropping tool, you can crop it how you like it. It's actually pretty good. So we're going to keep that crop here. And then you've got my um, description here. Now what I would suggest is, let's see, use the hashtag finder. So let's see if I can get it to find some. So if you actually type in the word blog, you'll see down here there's a list of suggested hashtags. And it's separated by niche, which is really specific. Um, good, which is not as specific. Best, which is a really good overall category and competitive, which means lots of people are using them. So you actually want to use ones 
maybe that are dark green. So of course, let's see if I can find some. I'm going to use Pinterest Ninja because that's what it was about. Um, we've got Facebook Blogger we could use. None of these apply. So you can go ahead and enter as many as you want. And then this is your hashtag list. So I've got a bunch already saved, but you can go ahead and add. Once you have a bunch of hashtags here, you can actually add it to your list and you can create um, your own hashtag list. So how you do that is you click copy from caption this one, because I actually started with already a caption, it's there, so you're gonna get rid of your caption, so you're just left with your hashtags. And then you're gonna say save hashtag list. So the next time you come in to actually go and do something like this, and you have a post that's similar, you can actually just click on the hashtag list, grab it, and you have all of your new blog tips. So that's how the hashtag finder um, and uh, and the hashtag lists work, which is so fantastic. So when you're all done that, you're ready to schedule. Now you have a couple options again here. You can schedule and set a custom time here. So you can pick and choose your dates, or you can just go ahead and add to your queue. So I'm gonna add it to my queue and then I'm gonna show you what happens here. It's actually gonna give you um, a list of my upcoming posts. I wanna see all of my scheduled posts now. It's gonna bring me to my, this is actually my Instagram dashboard. So looks very similar to your Pinterest dashboard. And on the side, you can see these are all my Pinterest po posts that are scheduled out. Let's see if we can find. So here's the one that we've just actually scheduled for today. So you can see these are a little bit moving, these little um, thumbnail icons, and you actually have the ability to toggle this back and forth to click to lock if you want. So if you want to shuffle, because you can shuffle your queue around, you can do that. Now I don't actually want to schedule this, so I'm going to go to this post here, I'm going to say delete. Because I've already got my um, Pinterest scheduled out for the week. The other thing you're going to want to do before you finish scheduling everything is you're going to want to go to add remove time slots on the bottom here. And what this does, it gives you an opportunity to generate your schedule. So you click on generate new smart schedule and you want to say how many times a day you want to post. So I want to post two times a day and I want to post between say 5.45 and 10 a.m. So it's going to generate me a new schedule here. And then these are all of my scheduled time slots. And Tailwind is really smart in that it knows exactly the best times that people are um, on your Instagram account and um, doing things there. So it, it has the best times and dates that you can use. So you can create your own and you can create specific times, but I would suggest you do this. The other thing you want to check is over here and set your time zone. I didn't have my time zone set correctly at first and it really caused some issues. So I'm going to go back to the scheduled post so I can show you here. Uh-oh. So I've got, got this all wonky now here. What have I set to? Two posts a day. Let's try this again. I think it probably just needs to be refreshed is what I should have done instead. So I'm just going to keep making it all crazier than adding. Anyways, it will go to two days uh, schedule. The other neat feature I like in this is you can actually toggle this here and it'll show your nine grid preview so that you can see what your posts that you're mm -hmm. scheduling out are actually gonna look like, which is a pretty neat feature. You can make sure it looks aesthetically pleasing exactly like how you want it. So once you're all done with what you need, and again, you can, if they're unlocked, you can actually move them around to individual um, spots, which is really great. So once you're all done, that's it. They're all scheduled. They're all gonna go automatically on their own. There's nothing else that you need to do. You can add manually, you can 
and you can kind of take your time and do whatever you like. It, it just makes you, scheduling these out makes you feel a lot less stressed out about having all of your marketing and everything ready to go and your posts scheduled for the week. So that's a quick recap about how to schedule your Instagram posts using the Tailwind app. I think it's a fantastic uh, feature and I imagine once my 31 free trial is up, I will upgrade for more, more posts, just like I did the Tailwind app. So, hope you're having a great day. Hope this helped you a lot. Please ask me any questions in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Thank you.